people rely on, particularly poor people, to organize and find ways to make it possible for these people to, you know, uh, go to prison and visit and, 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 and stuff, you know. And, uh, you know, so that's pretty much, you know, what I'm trying, I mean, we known for surviving solitary confinement, but we speak of issues like most American citizens don't know that under the 13th Amendment, slavery is still legal in this country. You know, and that a prisoner constitutes a slave of the state. And they have no human rights, no very minimum constitutional right. Uh, and, you know, so they, you know, and, and prisons, just like all state institutions, and that's what we have a problem in this country right now. No citizen oversight. Either through the citizens themselves or the political leaders that they elect. They have no oversight. So unchecked power always corrupts. And that's what happened. That's what's happening in the judicial system now. Unchecked power. From the police to the district attorney to the judges. You know. Uh, one of the questions, you know, I get a lot is uh, the jurors, the jurors who convicted me. Yeah. How do I feel? You know, I'm like, well, I, I feel sorry because the people that sit on jurors are, are citizens. They, are, you know, have the best intent, and but they are making decisions based upon evidence that was manufactured or corrupted evidence or lies, you know, uh, 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 and so I can't blame them, you know. Uh, someone asked me once, uh, how did I feel about the Miller family? You know, they have a suit for 40 something years. The family of the Carter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Brent Miller. Right. Yeah. Uh, and I don't, I don't hate them because I understood this, is, this, this was a member of their family. You know, they, I have to ask myself, what, what would I do if my brother, you know, cause they were wrong and they totally ignored the, the evidence, the overwhelming evidence that, you know, proved that we were innocent. I mean, they have a, a bloody fingerprint on the door of the dormitory and they only matched it against us and when it didn't match us, they stopped looking. And my case, my case, which is almost unheard of, my case was overturned three times. You know, four if you count the one that stuck. You know, the U.S. The case went all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court, and they upheld my right to a new trial. So you know, uh, as long as I say, if, if the people don't hold the men and women who work in social institutions, whatever they are, they don't, don't hold them accountable. Yeah. Then, you know, that's unchecked power. And, if they, and they will continue to be do the thing they're doing. 